talk us through your first oh. victory. I wasn't sure who was talking. Uh, it was pretty up and down. Uh, the first set was pretty decent. I felt really good going into the match. Uh, yesterday, though, I was super, super nervous to be back playing again. But today, I had a good warm-up. Everything was fine. And then I was feeling good. I made some stupid, per se, errors during the entire match here and there. But uh, Mihaela also did uh, pick up her game, too. So I have to give her creds for that. Um, I don't want to be too hard on myself. It's my first match back. I'm just super, super relieved that... Um, I was able to win today. All right, we'll take questions in the room. Please raise your hand. Yep, go ahead, Matt. Thanks. How you doing? Good, very good. How are you? Okay. So, 3-3, three, three, love 40, third set. Um, what is going through your head? My coach asked me this, too. Um, I remember during my match against Angelique Kerber in the finals, I had um, that same kind of roller coaster of a match. Um, and I was down 40 love on my serve. It was in the third set, around the same score too, <laughs> you know. Uh, and I was just thinking about that and how calm I was during that match. So I was telling myself, oh, stay calm, stay cool, just put your first serve in because I think my first serve today was very effective, which I did. And it also happened against Serena too. So um, it wasn't the only time I did it. So I kind of have a little bit of a feel of how it is to be in that situation. But I was super, super uh, relieved to get that, to get that game because I'm sure things would have been different afterwards. Yep, on the left. Can you just describe what it felt like to go out on the court today after 15 months, like emotionally? What was going through your head? Were you, were you thinking about that at all? Or I was trying not to, but it's pretty hard when you haven't played in that long. But last night, like I said, I was really, really nervous. Not only that, but just overwhelmed about everything. Because first of all, I had the emotions of just being so happy and grateful to be back on the court, healthy, all of that stuff. And then also the nervousness of, oh, if I win, oh, if I lose, this kind of stuff. And obviously I want to win. So I try not to pay too much attention to that, which is easy to say. But to me, that was my goal. It was just to to feel super happy on the court and just grateful to to be back and I think I did that pretty well there were some ups and downs during the match attitude wise in my opinion but it's okay it's my first match back what can I say yep go ahead was there any moment during the match where you were thinking like oh maybe I should have played a match before <laughs> I came out here maybe I should have played in, uh, the, in the tournament last week no, it, that wasn't going through my head. Uh, I've been in a situation where I was off with an injury and then came back into, like, a really big tournament. So I felt fine in that way. Any other questions in the room in English? Not that there's another language. <laughs> if not, we will go online. A reminder to those of you online, if you have an English question for Bianca, please use the raise your hand function. Courtney, we'll start with you when you're ready. Bianca, um, great match. Uh, it feels weird to call it a vintage Bianca match because <laughs> you haven't played a ton uh, and you're very young. But, um, but did it feel like that? kind of as you were playing through it. You, you cited the Kerber match. You cited those tight moments against Serena as well. Um, it, it felt like it was something similar. Yeah, I, I'd say so as well. Uh, after the match, I sat down with my team a little bit, and I'm like, oh, guys, here we go again, those three setters. And they just started laughing because they obviously knew what they were getting themselves into. But... Those matches are super 
good for me in my opinion uh, because it really shows that I can scramble when I really need to or if there's some pressure I can dig my way through it somehow like when my back's um what's that expression my back's but yeah (laughs) against the wall uh not only today but I've noticed throughout my uh last couple tournaments in 2019 uh I've been able to pull through with those so it gives me a lot of confidence going into this tournament as well um, another goal, one of my goals going into the match was to be able to play my best with the tennis I have that day. And today wasn't the best um, because I was kind of expecting it since it's my first match back. And I think I did really well with that too. Are are you? How are you doing balancing? Like before the tournament, you said trying to be kinder to yourself. I don't have expectations. I know I'm seated, but you know, 15 months off, et cetera, et cetera. But you're also you, and, I, and I'm sure that you want to win as badly now as you did in, you know, when you were at your prime. So how do you manage those conflicting ideas? Right yeah, now? yeah, it's it's not easy. I try to meditate a lot on that, and I've been doing really well with that as well, um, just staying in the present moment. And today... I think that was a key factor of why I won as well. So to me, it's kind of embedded in my in myself somehow over the years. Um, I'm saying like I've been playing for 20 years, but uh, I have been playing since I was seven. So it hasn't been that short. But yeah, it just it just comes with experience as well. And I found my way, and I'm sure all these other incredible athletes that are in the tournament have found their way as well. Um, but, yeah. Uh, and then just one more for me, sorry. Um, looking ahead uh, to play Shea Sue, which is an interesting matchup. I know you guys have played before. Um, can you talk through the challenge of playing her and also physically after a pretty tough one? How are you feeling? I feel surprisingly pretty well. I yeah. had an ice bath. I did those recovery boots. Um, and then playing in a Grand Slam, you have the day off tomorrow. I mean, I'm going to practice a little bit, but that definitely helps. And to answer the, your other question, I have played her before, so I kind of know what to expect. It's been, I mean, over a year and a half now. Things have changed, but I feel pretty good um, considering my match today going up against her. I know it's not going to be easy, though. Uh, She's a pretty crafty player, so I think that's going to be a fun match. Prajwal with the Times of India. Next question, please. Please take yourself off mute. Thank you. Uh, Hi, Bianca. Uh, You were saying on court that you were nervous, uh, that you were, uh, that those the, the days, the last 15 months were hard. There were some really hard times. Uh, if you could just elaborate on what hard time, on how how hard those times were. And also, you said just now that you were nervous yesterday before the uh, before the tournament started. How how exactly are you when you're nervous? Do you cry or do you what do you do? I do a lot of things. I don't know what to expect. Uh, when I'm nervous, sometimes I'll cry, sometimes I'll be laughing uncontrollably. It's really weird. But last night I did cry, and I'm not afraid to say that because everyone cries sometimes. But it's a good release for me um, because in my head, all I was thinking about were the last 15 months and how tough they were, and they were tough for many reasons. COVID being one of them, and then my knee injury, being ready to play um, Indian Wells, Miami, and then COVID hitting, that wasn't easy. Um, And just other personal issues as well uh, wasn't necessarily easy, but I got through them. I have amazing people around me that helped me along the way, and I have to to thank them for that because... 
I wouldn't be able to do it uh, without them. Tennis is an individual sport, but we do have a huge entourage. And, um, yeah, they mean a lot to me, so thank you if you guys are watching or will ever watch. And, um, yeah, I like to talk about meditation, and that's, I think, the main thing for me. And when I'm not playing, I like to do imagery, which technically makes me feel like I am playing when I'm not, if that makes sense.